Hey everyone, this is Made Knowledge here. I'm back after a hiatus, I guess is what we could call it. Um, things have changed. Things have changed. Um, but we're still the same channel, still love our music. I think I've gotten a lot more <laughs> music. There's also two shelves below what you can see. Um, and I got into a new band, King Gizzard. And the lizard, lizard, hold on, let me. It's quite loud, quite loud. But we're into a new band, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. And I have this package here. It says, bend, not do. And there's some records inside it. Trusty knife. I'm gonna crack it open. I have a pretty good feeling of what I know what's in here. Which you'll find out at the end of the video why I have these. This is gonna be a little tricky to open. Yeah, it is gonna be a little tricky. Okay. I do know what these are. Let me just adjust this real quick. Hello. I added a microphone too, but it doesn't seem to be cooperating with me today. It's really not gonna cooperate, so there will be no microphone on this recording. Okay, so what is in this is two King Gizzard records. We have a castle face copy of I'm In Your Mind Fuzz. And a castle face copy of Quarters. These are both on black vinyl. And you'll find out at the end of the video why I have these two. So without any further delay, we'll get into the vinyl. So I am missing two. I have an In Your Mind Fuzz, that's the Coke magenta splatter thing that's super cool, and a Nonagon Infinity that's on the blue with the red splatter on it. This is the first one I have. I don't have anything before this. I'm still looking for the flightless reissues of everything. I'll be able to find them at some point, but this is Float Along, Fill Your Lungs. It is on a lovely, lovely, lovely. Well, there's an inner sleeve. It's got the lyrics and credits. It's on this lovely yellow. It's like a banana yellow kind of thing. And it is a great album. It is a great, like, progressive garage album is what you could call it comes with a giant poster in it too. With some, Jesus, this giant with some lungs. And the band. This one I picked up for 25 bucks, I think. And this is a, it is a really good garage prog album, if that's what you call it. The first song, uh, Head on Pill, is super, super, super good. And we'll just start putting them away. Next one I have, this is why I have another quarters, but this one's cool because it's on the half berry, half blender super super cool and I'm gonna guess that most of you have seen the unfolded oh, on. I'm gonna guess that most of you have seen the unfolded thing of quarters so I don't need to show you that here's oh you know what I might as well I'll just show you the, the gate fold and then 
goes. It goes some way, but it's huge. It's giant. <laughs> but it's awesome. It's an awesome, awesome, awesome cover. And it's a great record. The first song, The River, is amazing. And um, the last song, which I can't remember the name of. That is Quarters. Like I said, I have an In Your Mind Fuzz and a Nonagon Infinity coming sometime soon. It'd be hilarious if it comes today. Uh, the next one we have, this is the repress of Flying Microtonal Banana. So it's on the, oh, here's the inner sleeve with all the lyrics. It's on the like clear yellow. This is the first first King Gizzard record I ever got. And it was probably I think I got it for my birthday. Yeah, the ATO one. I had my dad had the gold blue burst, whatever it was, and I traded that for um the quarters and the next record, or one of the next records I'm gonna show you. Murder of the Universe. If you know this record, it's quite an adventure. It's on this cool, they call it Vomit Splatter. And it comes with a big book with all the words and all the lyrics. And by big book, I mean it's it's quite a large book. It's got all the all the lyrics. It's got a bunch of cool pictures in it. It's it's like three stories in one. It's got the tale of the altered beast, the Lord of Lightning versus Barlog, and the hand something and the murder of the universe, which is weird. I call it the Vomit Coffin Saga. Which, if you go listen to it, you will find out why. Now, the next record I'm going to show you, I actually have on CD and vinyl. This is King Gizzard with Mild High Club. So we're listening to it right now. It's Sketches of Brunswick East. That's the CD. And this one, I uh, showed you. There's the inner sleeve, lyrics, lyrics. This one is on boring old black vinyl. Oh, what is that? Oh, just dust. I haven't cleaned this one yet. I only got it a couple days ago. So this is like a jazzy fusion-y album that's super, super good. I've, I've played it a lot within the past couple days. I'm looking, I'm looking to get the blue, the blue sky version. So, if someone's willing to do a trade, I'll link my Facebook down there, and you can do that. Or if you're in the King Gizzard Facebook group, just go to that. Next one was the release that anyone could have just taken. It was free, basically. This album was was not owned by them. Polygon to Wandland. This is the ATO press. I'm, there's a new press coming out that I'll have to show you when I get it. But it's super, super cool. Cool backing graphic. Amazing, amazing poster of Mr. Stew in here. And on the other side, it has lyrics and stuff. And the vinyl is pretty, pretty cool. It's this like pinwheel four color, although it's kind of two because it's red, red, blue, and yellow. So they call it a four way colored. But it's, I guess it's four way, but it's not four colors. Dun, dun. 
very good album. Crumbling Castle is amazing. I love it. I love a good, good King Gizzard album. Next one up, Gumboot Soup. Which it's basically the last four albums that I showed you kind of combined into one. Look at that splatter. What do they call it? I think they just call it like orange with black splatter or something. Orange vinyl with black splatter and red smoke. All right. And then you've got the inner sleeve with all the lyrics on it. My favorite song on here is probably The Wheel, only because on the vinyl version it repeats itself. So the last like measure or two just repeats over and over and over. And the first time I was listening to it, I was like, why is this song like 10 minutes long? It should not fit on a record. And I am missing Fishing for Fishies. But I have this one. This insane monster of an album. Infest the Rat's Nest. Look at that, they're all on fire. <laughs> I won't show you the poster because it's giant, but here's the inner sleeve. And then here is the vinyl. So this whole album is their metal album. It's, it is heavy. Mars for the Rich is probably my favorite song. Oregon Farmer is super, super, super cool. Um, Planet B is great. Self Immolate. Whole album is super, super good. All right, now the moment you've all been waiting for. These two albums will be on bid on eBay for the next two days, I think. I put them up a little bit, a little bit after this, or a little bit before this video is released. So, yeah, go take a bid on them. They're both on black vinyl, they're both castle face, they're both men. This, I believe, has a download card in it. I don't think this one does. Go bid on them though. Because then I can make more videos like this and show you more vinyl. Hopefully I'll get more videos out there. I don't know, my schedule's all really weird right now and whatever, wherever it comes out will come out. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to see more, blah, blah, blah. Do whatever all the big YouTubers say to do, and I'll see you guys next time. Sayonara.